Retro Rad here coming at you with another pickups video. Today is November 23rd, 2014. Uh, this might be my last pickup video uh, of the season. Uh, this is the stuff that I picked up in a trade, uh, two GameStop purchases, an eBay purchase, and a local game store trade. I'm pretty much, I have zero items uh, in my trade bin that I usually keep that I trade stuff in the local video game stores. I have zero left because uh, I wiped everything out on the stuff that you're about to see here. In this week's question, I know some of you guys that are watching my videos, uh, you guys still have good weather. Uh, unfortunate for me as well as everyone around me and further north of me. i uh, hit a lot of um, cold weather. It was 20 degrees this weekend. Uh, my buddy up in Buffalo, they got a couple, several feet of snow. Uh, the football game even had to be moved from Buffalo to Detroit because the stadium is completely covered in snow. Um, so in the comments down below, let me know what you've been finding at flea markets. I uh, would love to hear it. Or if it's local eBay pickups or whatever. All right, we're going to jump right into it. Did a trade with uh, Jake. Uh, he needed some of my uh, empty boxes. So I sent it to him as a gift, and he sent me PSI Ops uh, for the Xbox. He told me it was a really good game. It is complete, and it has the bonus CD. So when I get an Xbox, I'm actually going to give it a try. Thanks, Jake. Next, we're going to do a GameStop purchase. Uh, we all know about one of them. Uh, the other one is Tales of Heart R for the Vita. I don't own a Vita yet, but when I do, I'm definitely going to be interested in playing that. Um, thinking about getting the PlayStation Move thing uh, versus getting the Vita, but then I heard you know things about the Vita could do uh, to pair your PS4, so I don't know what I'm going to do there. Uh, the next GameStop purchase was the one that everybody's been playing, uh, Smash Brothers Wii U. It's the uh, deluxe set or the limited edition, whatever you want to call it. Came with the controller and the four-player multi-tab. Uh, the only thing that's going to stay in here is the controller. Because I don't need to use the GameCube controller. I'm going to be using WaveBirds instead. So if anybody's looking to uh, play some Smash, hit me up. My uh, name is Retro Space Rat, obviously. Uh, so hit me up for that or Mario Kart. Uh, we just opened up my Wii U finally, the Zelda Collector's Edition. I've been keeping it sealed. Because uh, my wife's sister came over. We played some Mario Kart, played some Smash. Uh, both really fun games. and So that's what we did. Uh, local game store... I went last Sunday to do my trades, um, traded a whole bunch of stuff, was hoping to get, you know, around 100, 120 a trade credit. There was a bunch of games that they couldn't take because the, the CDs weren't in the greatest condition, and I kind of agreed with them, and they were junkier titles, so why would they want to take the risk on, you know, junkier titles? While I'm waiting for the trade to happen, uh, my buddy Wayne pointed out to me a PSP game that I've been wanting. He didn't know that I wanted it. Uh, and he shows it to me, puts it in my hands, and I'm like, I was going to say, nah, 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 boo, boo, I got it in my hands now, I'm buying it. Uh, but I put it back in his hands because he said he was thinking about buying it. Uh, and then he found out how really bad I wanted it, so he gave it up to me to allow me to buy it. And that was Class of Heroes. Uh, it's an Atlas title. Looks to be one of those obscure and fun RPGs. Another one he pointed out to me uh, that he already had uh, was Blade Dancer. And the game that I was most excited to get, uh, because I had it and I traded it, was Skies of Arcadia for the Dreamcast. I was very excited to get this. This is 100% complete and mint. So my trade credit got me all that stuff, so very pleased with that. And I'm going to leave you with one of the better eBay purchases that I've made in a while. Uh, and that is Mega Man 4 Complete in Box for a Game Boy. Uh, this is pretty much in... I don't want to say mint condition, but it's in, in, in good condition. The edges have some wear on it. Cart's in excellent condition. Magnum's got a little little rub to it. Um, I'm only missing one more Mega Man game, and I'm missing one more Zelda game. My goal is to complete both of those by the end of this season. I don't know, get Mega Man 5 is going to be extremely tough to get. It doesn't come up very often on eBay. Uh, Zelda, I just I can't justify spending the amount of money to get that game to complete the set, but who knows, I might just sell some of my games that I don't care about, and then get it going. Uh, guys, again, in the comments down below, let me know what you've been finding, and thanks for watching.